Alright guys, this tutorial is for adding file upload to a basic CRUD application. Uh, first off, the tutorial assumes that the user has already done the uh, basic CRUD application, which was given in a tutorial earlier in the semester. Um, and if you've done that, you'll have something that looks sort of like this. It's a customer's database list page, and you might have some users in, or some customers in here if you've added some. You'll have also made a create page, a read page, an update page, and a delete page for your customers table. Also in that tutorial you'll have made a customers database. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial we're going to be using this customers2 database I've made um, because my customers database is being used for another CRUD app that you use the correct uh, database name as you're going through and um, changing the code so you'll probably have something like customers. Mine's going to be customers2. Alright, so once it lets us back in here, under Customers 2 you're going to have four columns, um, ID, name, email, and one for mobile. The first thing we're going to be doing is adding another column to this Customers table. It's going to be add, added at the end of the table. And so we can click this Add One Column at the end of the table, click Go, and the column is going to be called Image. And the type for this column is going to be medium blob. So you can find medium blob here. You don't have to change any of the other fields, just leave them as they are. Just make image the column name and medium blob the type. And we'll click save to add that one column right here, image medium blob. The next thing we're going to do is navigate over to the tutorial PDF. And this is the first thing we just did, added the image uh, column. And the next thing you're going to do is grab this block of code, which goes onto the second page here. And we're going to paste this into the create.php page for the CRUD application. And um, I'll show you that now. Where we're going to be pasting that is in the check for validity. So you'll do some error checking if you've done the um, CRUD application tutorial. You'll have something like if, if you leave the, the name empty, it'll give you an error. So once it checks all those things and it sees that you have valid input, it will fire this bit of code. Um, which before added just the name, the email, and the mobile. But you're going to switch it in for this right here. All of this that's highlighted is from the PDF. And what this is going to do instead is it checks to see if the um, user has selected an image to add for their customer. And that's what this is doing right here. So if a user file size is greater than zero, that's going to be your image from the, uh, later in the HTML it's going to add to the table name, email, mobile, and image for the new customer. But if that's not the case and the user does not select an image for the customer, it's just going to insert name, email, and mobile without the image. So you'll want to make sure that you change. Uh, in, the, in the PDF, it has this as customers, which is probably what your table will be called. But the one thing you do need to change is uh, it'll, the tutorial PDF will say people.php and you just need to make sure you change that probably to index.php if you followed the uh, CRUD application tutorial exactly and that's going to occur in two places here so index.php instead of people.php which is uh, what came from an earlier tutorial so once you've done those two things you're going to go back to the tutorial PDF and scroll down past what we had and you're going to select this next block of code which is some HTML and you can copy this right here and you're going to paste it into the HTML portion of that same create.php page. And you're going to paste it under the text boxes that you already have for name, email, and mobile number. It's going to be right here. And you're going to put it in before the submit button. You can really, I'm sure you can put it in anywhere, but this is probably the best place to put it. You're going to drop that bit of code in here. And that's going to allow you to select an image from your file browser on your computer and upload it and uh, this is the user file that we saw earlier um, that's what it's going to get the content of the image from and uh, add it to the database so we're going to add this HTML in here and then save your file your create.php file and if you once you've done that you should be able to just check on the server to see the changes but I'm on my home computer so I'm going to add these myself So just to be safe, I 
cut all six of those out and I'm going to take the ones I just edited. Really will have just changed the create.php page, but we're going to put them all in there. And now once you go to your refresh your customers page, once you click the create button, you'll see now there should be this select an image and a file choose. You can choose a file for your customer to add. And so we'll try that out. We'll create a new person here. Just call him new person. How about that? New person at SVSU. And we'll give them a fake number. And we'll choose a file for this new person, an image file. I've got a monkey picture. So we have selected, there's the name of the file that we're going to add for this new user. And we'll click the Create button. And if you haven't changed anything else in your CRUD application, it won't be immediately apparent what's happened. But um, the first and the easiest way to check uh, to see if your file upload is working is to navigate back to the SQL database. And so it lets me do that. Go into your Customers table and browse. And if you see the person we just added, this is someone that was in there before from when we couldn't add images, but now you have under image a blob that has that takes up space so that means that it's saving the image. Um, the more obvious way we can uh, check to see um, if the file upload has worked is we're going to add a way to view that image in the uh, in the code here. So we're going to add this bit to the read page for the CRUD application. So we're going to copy this is some more HTML. So if we navigate back over here, look at our read page, and we scroll down, we're going to add this. Oops. Don't want that. Underneath where we're showing all of the other pieces of information, like what we had before, the name, the email address, and the mobile number, we're going to add a new bit here and paste in that bit of code and we will format this a little bit. And this is going to be for displaying the image for the user. And we'll save this. And just like before, you should be able to just uh, look at your new page, see what's changed, but we have to do this here. Replace all these. And now hopefully We'll refresh this page, and if we read our new person, there we go. We have the monkey that we added as an image for that person located right below all of the other pieces that were already in there. Uh, you can obviously pretty this thing up by, you know, if you wanted to add this as its own, give it a column name image, or you can put this image anywhere else on the page that you'd like, up above the name, or uh, next to these fields. Um, but that's about it. The uh, file upload process for uh, adding that functionality to a basic CRUD application is all right there. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you've learned something. And uh, if not, just go back and follow the tutorial PDF again. And that's all. Thanks a lot.